What if food decisions didn't happen behind closed doors? I went to find out. Decisions about food at Clover happen every Tuesday at Food Dev. Food Dev is free and open to the public, located at Clover Hub in East Cambridge. Totally out of my comfort zone. I'm not the most uh, knowledgeable on food in general. I love food. I love the food at Clover. I love the coffee at Clover, and I love to eat it. But I don't necessarily know the story behind it. I then go on to say how important it is to have food development open to the public and how excited I was, but at the same time, I was intimidated by this new experience. And the unknown social aspect of this gave me a bit of anxiety because I didn't know what to expect. And then I entered into Clover and immediately saw a familiar face. It was Eric, our founder and CEO. I mean, how cool is that? And then there was another, our marketing manager, Jane, who then instructed me to check out the commissary kitchen, but first, put on a hairnet. Step one, hairnet. Haven't you always wondered what it's like to walk behind the bar that separates you from the bartender, the kitchen staff? Luckily for us, every week we are granted access to the food lab and invited to engage with the people who make the decisions about what foods they source, how they prepare the foods, and ultimately what goes on the menu. There are three reasons why I'll be going back to Food Dev. First, it was fun. Quite simply, I had a good time. But the thing I enjoyed the most was probably the double blind test. Out of the three samples available, only one of them was the olive oil currently used on the menu items. No one, not even the people administering the test, know which one is which. The test was used to answer the following questions. Should we change the olive oil we use? And can you even taste the difference between the different kinds of olive oil? I will tell you that this was actually hilarious, and you could definitely taste the difference between olive oils. My second reason is, I got great ideas for food at home. At one point, the question posed to the group was, should we add greens to our platters? And what would a leafy green salad at Clover look like? At this point, discussions about recipes began to fly through the crowd, and there were many options presented about which type of leafy greens are best, and you know which size julian vegetables are better, size 1 or size 4, and which dressing is best, which dry topping is best. And I'm listening to everyone because I need ideas for salads at home because my salad game is lacking. And I can tell you this, ever since Foodev, I have had a big boost in my at-home salad game. And let me tell you, Everyone is very happy about it. The third reason, and possibly the most important, I actually feel like I contributed to the food decisions at Clover. The pimento cheese sandwich is coming back on the menu at Clover, and they want to know what kind of pickled vegetable pairs best with the spread. This was definitely my favorite tasting item of the day, but I really felt like I was contributing, and I was able to see decision making happening in real time. So I will definitely be going back, and if you want to sign up for Food Dev, just go on to cloverfoodlab.com and select on the Sign Up for Food Dev link so you can share in this awesome experience too.